Okay, sini check kita punya BIOS ya. So, masuk you punya BIOS. So, check your BIOS version. Alright. Uh, make sure you're using the right BIOS. So, it's version, the older version BIOS will not work eh, for this particular compact HP uh, DC7800. Okay, boot up from the BIOS. And uh, press F, F10. You go into BIOS setup. This is just password. I simply put it in. So just key in the password. Ya yeah, masukkan password BIOS. And system information as follows. And your BIOS as follows. Yeah, version BIOS and system information ada kat situ. And uh, I disable the network card. Ethernet controller. I disable it ya. Yeah. Matikan uh, Ethernet controller. Kan saya punya network card rosak. Because my network card is faulty. I disable it. I'm using a uh, TP link. At, uh, Network card and IC. I see. I said, pakai tip link in network card. Supaya ganti. Network card built-in saya matikan. I disable the built-in network card. So, just uh, browsing through my BIOS. So, so that you can compare yours. Eh? You boleh bandingkan BIOS saya dengan BIOS you. Jika you pakai uh, desktop PC yang sama. Okay, and uh, I turun kat bawah lagi. So, nampak tu network card yang matikan. I disable network card. I disable floppy and things like that. And once I'm done... I just uh, save and exit ya. Yeah. Press F10, save and exit. Just double check itu. Dah selesai, save and exit lah. Keluar ya. Yeah. And I restart the machine right now. And once you start, press F9 to boot from the USB. Yeah. Uh, I'm using USB, uh, I'm using Promox version 7 ya. Yeah, because version 8 dia stuck ya, yeah, dia hang. Because version 8, version, uh, I'm using version 7 because version, version 8 uh, stuck and hang. So, uh, Selected the USB to boot from USB. I pilih boot from USB. And there we go. We have version 7 running there. Kita ada version 7 uh, tengah running kat situ. Uh, take note kat sini ya. Eh. Sini processor, uh, processor I'm using ya. Eh. Uh, core 2 Duo. Uh, uh, with only 4 GB of RAM ya. Eh. Just to, just to test out tujuan hanya untuk test saja sama ada boleh run atau tidak just buat some basic stuff saja ya and I tak pakai uh, HDMI I pakai VGA I'm not using HDMI I'm using VGA because the HDMI card that I slot in did not support ya HDMI card yang saya pakai dia tak support ya dia hang sepuluh jalan right now uh, most, uh, Proxmox is trying to get the IP address from the IP server Ya, yeah, Proxmox uh, sedang cuba dapat IP ada pada display server. Ini stage yang sekarang. Uh, and dah dapat IP address. And Proxmox got IP address from the display server. So, Proxmox version 7 is loading. Tengah load version 7, Proxmox. And on the first screen, we just press enter. Tekan enter saja pada screen pertama. Agree, eh? have to agree. Uh, right hand bottom, kanan. Kanan bawah, tekan agree. Licensing. You can read the licensing if you want to. Uh, tak perlu baca lah license ya. Yeah? Save time. Agree, I agree. Tekan pelan kanan bawah, I agree. Lepas tu next. It's a Sunday morning hari ni ya. Eh? Pagi Ahad. Masuk kami your password using uh, just a simple default Microsoft password dah. For testing ya. Yeah? Pakai Microsoft password. 
for testing and then click next and masukkan your email address key in your email address click next and key in your fqdn name in my case it should be latifisa.com or latif123.com ok kita akan keluar installation successful and restart and we are going into props mode yeah? so installation dah habis we finish doing the installation boot up and after a while you get the logon screen sekali lagi dapat logon screen and login as username root yeah? masuk supaya username root with your password itu saja and we are all done we are all good ok itu saja dah selesai dah So after this, access the Proxmox from a different host ya, remotely via web browser. Dah siap ni, pergi kat PC lain, buka web browser, masukkan URL kat atas tu. Okay, so server Proxmox ni kita tinggal just put aside. We simply put aside di server and we access it remotely ya. Okay, that's all. Thank you.